Hi VFC Liverpool and welcome to this uh, session two um, of the Secret Place series. Today we're going to be talking about hearing God um, and we're going to be starting off in John chapter 10 and verse 27 and it says this, it says my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. You know, have you ever watched the TV program um, First Dates? Um, one time there were, there were a couple on that show that were meeting for a first date and the guy on the date kept speaking about himself and interrupting the lady that he was on the date with when she wanted to speak. Now suffice to say, it, the date was a little bit of a disaster. But sometimes, I think, sometimes we, this is how we treat our times with God. We bring our list of struggles and requests, but we spend little time just listening to the heart of God. We get caught up what's in our own hearts and what's important to us, rather than being interested in what's on God's heart and what's important to Him. God has always designed that the secret place be a place where he answers us and he speaks to us. There is nothing better in all of life than hearing his voice. So let's make time to hear God in the secret place. In this verse, Jesus links hearing his voice to knowing him and following him. One of the characteristics of being a disciple is hearing his voice. Our role in the secret place is to listen for anything that God wants to speak. If he doesn't speak, my time spent in silent listening is not futile or in vain. I haven't missed anything or failed to connect. I've done my part. But we must approach our time in the secret place with a heart of listening to God. So how can I make it more plain? Hearing God is the most cherished secret of the secret place. Do not believe the enemy's lies. He would tell you that you were unable to hear the voice of God. But nothing can be further from the truth. This verse says, you can hear the voice of God. So stop us, stop everything. Come aside, listen and wait on him. He longs to commune with you and has much to say. As I play the song now, I um, just want you to think on these points. What is God saying to you today? Take a moment now in this time to ask him what he's saying. What is he saying about you? What's on his heart today? Let the king of my heart be the mountain where I run, the fountain I drink from, oh, he is my son. Let the king of my heart be the shadow where I hide the ransom for my life oh he is my soul you are good good oh you are good good oh you are good Let the king of my heart be the wind inside my sails, the anchor in the waves. Oh, he is my son. Let the king of my heart be the fire inside my veins.
gonna let, you're never gonna let me down. You're never gonna let, you're never gonna let me down. You're never gonna let, you're never gonna let me down. You're never gonna let, you're never gonna let me Father, I want to thank you that, that your heart is to speak to us during our quiet time, our secret place time. And Father, we, we commit to, to, to listening to you, to hearing you, to, um, to knowing what's on your heart rather than just bringing what we're worried about and what we're concerned about. Father, we want to know your heart. Jesus name. Amen. Thanks guys. See you next time.